16 years ago in northern Michigan, somewhere in the Huron National Forest, a man and a woman from a nearby town pulled over to the shoulder of the road, took their two-year-old son, asleep, out of the back seat, walked with him into the woods a mile or so, and set him down. It was still light enough for them to find their way back to their car. God help us. They went home. Did they sleep that night? Were they startled when the phone by the bedside rang? Well, they confessed the whole thing the next day. After the child was found. Walking. <laughs> Toddling, the finder called it. Along that shoulder of the road. A policeman recognized him from his own child's daycare center. He was a smart little guy. He knew his name. This much was in the paper. Everything else you have to imagine yourself in order to survive, as he did. In order to survive it, you have to imagine it every day. When you lie down to go to sleep, and when you wake. But in between, in between, your mind is full of trees. And it's quite dark despite the moon. But this summer has been a warm one. And someone tied your tiny shoes for you. <laughs>